Hi and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I have four cards to share using stencils. Altenew has just released new stencils, here is a quick look on the designs. I will be sharing four cards today showcasing four of these uh, stencils and there is a, a giveaway and a blog hop so make sure to visit my blog to find all about it. And here are the new inks that have just been released as well. These are all shimmer mists which means that they are very shiny. This is the sunburst stencil that I have placed and secured over green cardstock. I'm going to place it inside the box just to make sure that I don't make a mess. And before I spray, I make sure that the bottle is nicely shaken. Otherwise, the marker is going to stay at the bottom. So I'm spraying lightly. And uh, before you put the cap back on, make sure to wipe the nozzle. Otherwise, the mica might clog your bottle. Now I'm going to remove the stencil. And you can see the tone on tone look that I got at the background by using the mountain mist spray. Now this is very shiny, hopefully you can see the shine here. And I'm going to place the stencil again on top, making sure that I align it nicely with the pattern at the background. I am going to secure it with some purple tape at the back. And then I'm going to apply some more extra glitter, just because I'm going for a Christmas card. Now for that you can either use any paste, glitter paste that you might have or you can even use the little bottles that you probably have like Nouveau Drops or Stickles. And I'm using Stickles here, I'm going to apply it on the back of my spatula and then just spread it out, making sure that I will not cover up the complete design, I just want to have a touch of sparkle of glitter here and there. And I will remove the stencil so you can see what I've got. Nice and sparkly, perfect background for a Christmas card. As focal points I chose to go with designs from the holiday bowl, so I'm going to stamp twice or maybe three times the evergreen. And um, I'm going to use the matching dice to cut out all those three branches. And I'm also going to stamp the little poinsettia. And the Holiday Bow is a Christmas stamp set that I absolutely love. It has gorgeous images to create uh, Christmas cards. And I have already showcased this stamp set in a previous video, but I will make sure to link to that at the end of this one. So I'm going to stamp uh, the berries with ruby red and I will go ahead and stamp the poinsettia, which is a layering stamp set. I used the matching dies to cut out all my pieces and as you can see I have already prepared a little ornament. This comes from the Brilliant Bubbles stamp set which I have also showcased in a previous video. I am using my crocodile to create a tiny little hole at the top of my ornament so that I can thread some gold uh, string and now it's time to put everything together. So I'm creating a little cluster of those branches by using uh, glue as well as foam square so I do get dimension. I'm also placing the berries underneath. I have uh, foam squares at the back of uh, my ornament and I'm going to uh, place it at the center of my background design. I'm wrapping my golden thread at the top of my panel and I'm going to secure it with some uh, mini staples. Don't worry, this is not going to show at the end, we, since I am going to cover up completely the top by using the cluster of the branches that I have already created. And for my sentiment I went with Joy to the World, which I have white embossed on a thin strip of uh, red cardstock. And I'm going to stick this panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half, and my card is ready. I love this stencil because it is very versatile and can be used all year round. For my next card I'm using the Flowing Hearts stencil. It comes with two hearts. I'm going to use the bigger one for this uh, card and I have masked off uh, a part of the smaller one so that I don't make a mess on my panel. I'm making up my heart by using Distress Oxide inks and I have started with Tattered Rose which is the lightest color. Since I keep uh, sharing holiday Christmas cards, I thought it was a great idea to uh, make uh, something different for today. So here is one about love. Now I'm going to ink up again at the bottom by using warm lipstick 
and this is slightly darker than the previous color and now I'm going to move on to the darker color that I've chosen which is picked raspberry and I'm going to add it only at the bottom of my heart so now I'm happy with how that looks I'm going to leave the stencil and you can see how gorgeous this heart is I cut out the panel to be slightly smaller than the standard card. I used foam squares at the back and I'm placing it on a pink cardstock. I have also cut out the word love twice, once out of uh, the same colored cardstock and once out of white. And I'm going to offset them, stick them one on top of the other, just to create a little bit of shadow at the back. Now I have cut out the word love from the Alte New die set, which is called Script Words. I used glue at the back and I'm going to stick the word love on top of my heart. And to complete my sentiment, I have already white embossed on a thin strip of uh, the same colored cardstock as the background, the sentiment that says sending love and hugs, which I'm going to stick just underneath. Now, if you notice the design of this uh, heart has some dots, which I'm going to finish off by adding some pink gems on top of them. For the next couple of cards I'm going to use embossing paste over the stencils and here I'm just preparing my panels. I will be using the Bevel Squares stencil and remember you don't have to use the stencil as it is, you don't have to use the whole design. So as you can see here I'm using some uh, purple tape and I'm going to customize the design. I am creating a zigzag following the design and I'm going to apply my paste only at the bottom of uh, this stencil. I'm going to apply metallic silver with my spatula. This is embossing paste and you will find the links of everything I'm using down below in the description area. So I'm just going to cover up completely the bottom part. I'm going to lift the stencil so you can see how it looks. This is going to dry nice and shiny. And while that panel is drying, let's move on and create one more panel again by using metallic embossing paste. This is the metallic gold. And it's going to dry nice and shiny, although it looks quite um, dull at the moment. So I'm going to lift off the stencil. Now these panels are nice and dry, they are ready to turn into cards. And I love how the embossing paste really showcases the beautiful designs of those stencils. So for this card, again, I'm going for a Christmas card. I used foam tape at the back to add dimension on my panel. And now I'm going to stick down the poinsettia as well as the branches. And all those images also come from the holiday bow stamp set that I used for the first card, which is an absolute favorite. And finally, as a sentiment, I went with Christmas blessings that I have uh, embossed with gold embossing powder over a thin strip of white cardstock. And here is the finished card, really bright and shiny. Here are some close-up photos and notice how I added some uh, gold stickles at the center of my poinsettia. Now let's finish off the last panel that I created and turn it into a card. For that I'm just going to stick the word Mary that I have cut out by using the whole Script Words die set. And I have also embossed the sentiment that says Hope your Christmas is amazing. I used silver embossing powder for that and I'm just going to place it there. I am finishing off my card by adding some silver sequins at uh, the top of uh, the design. For my card base I used silver mirror cardstock that frames my panel beautifully. It's a really simple card to create but very shiny in real life and here are some close-up photos. Now as always you will find the full list of supplies down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Also make sure to visit my blog because this is part of a blog group you will find lots of inspiration along the way and lots of giveaways. Thank you all so much for watching today and I'll see you all next time.